CPV efficiency is slightly different because of its nature, or the nature of the technology. And we have a three-stage process in terms of the losses of energy. First, we lose in the primary reflection. Secondly, we lose in the secondary reflection. And then there is a loss, set, set of losses in the PV cell itself. In the left picture, we see a mirror, a dish mirror. It has its own natural loss. Not 100% of the light is reflected into the secondary mirror. Some light is being absorbed by the mirror. Some light is not being reflected to the secondary mirror. We lose it. It reflects back out. So just because we have a dish and a mirror, which is a mirror, a very thin mirror, we lose it right there. By the way, the thickness of the mirror itself is several microns. The reason it's several microns is because I would like to have as least amount of metallic material in the primary dish because I want the least amount of the, the I want to reduce the temperature, I want to keep the temperature down. So, so I use the least amount of metal. More metal, it will get hotter. And again, higher temperature, higher losses, bigger losses. The idea is to have a thin layer of mirror on the dish, not to let heat being generated. So the primary reflection is number one loss. Secondary reflection has the same idea. Concentrated light is being injected into the secondary mirror, which get hot because it's focused, it's concentrated, it's high density of energy. Mirror by itself, by its nature, has its own losses, but the secondary has a higher temperature. So we have a loss right there. And then this concentrated light is being injected into the PV cell itself, and as we've seen before, it has its, its, its own set of losses. So CPV is a little bit more complicated in terms of losses just by its nature. But as we saw, as we've seen before, its total efficiency is much, much higher than the classical PV cells, the flat ones. Because bigger area of light is being focused into a small area of light converted to electricity using small area. So in, within a given area, I can get more output power of a system.